Norden Shatter, better known as FaZe Rain, has been exposing FaZe Clan for these past couple months, and I have been keeping a close eye on the situation, and he recently dropped the video, so we're gonna go ahead and check that out right now for you guys. It looks like he may be exposing FaZe Adapt. I don't even know. Let's get into it. All right, the moment of truth, guys. Here's the video. Let's watch it, baby. So today I want to talk about the adapt situation and Rug because sometimes Rug gets his name thrown into this even though he shouldn't. Yeah, he did you know, speak on Rug a few times more, too. You know I was Rug confused about that. Cool. We never had a falling out. I love bro. And even though they shouldn't be attacking Alex either, even if me and him had a disagreement, doesn't mean you have to go and attack him. But this is what yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, so that is true. So I did true. a podcast a few months ago. I filmed them early in January. You see, I, I personally feel like you should not attack like your friends or people that you know you have been very close with throughout like many years. If there's any beef with people that you're really close with, it should all be said settled off of the camera, but that's just my opinion. Right, they didn't end up dropping till about a month ago, I think, maybe even less. And it was with Bradley Martin was one, and then one was with the toast. On the old I watched phase, that and podcast, the half yeah. there, and then the new phase. And in that, you know, interview, I was talking to Alex, and I was calling him like a rat, a snake, this, that, and I was really mad. And I, and I want this public, I'll never speak to Adapt again. I'll never be friends with him. I'll never talk to him. He's the biggest rat. So one, Bro, I say when I heard that clip, I lost my because you guys don't understand. Nord and Adapt have been BFFs for so damn long. Like, I don't know when their friendship started falling off, but it's just, it was just so crazy for me to hear those words come out of Northern's mouth. Like, he, it's like he just threw away, you know, whatever little friendship they had left. But at the end of the day, guys, I'm trying to remain as neutral as possible in this situation. I love all these phase guys, man. Like, let's just continue the vid. Hey, that was filmed a long time ago. And honestly, I'm just gonna be honest though, my feelings didn't really change on it up until about a week ago. So I still felt the same way throughout the whole time because we never had that conversation. I never got to hear his side. He never got to fully hear my side. So we weren't able to understand each other's point of views and perspectives. I'm an intention-based person, right? So just because you do something doesn't mean you automatically meant something. Some things, yeah, but like generally no, right? So I'm a pretty rational yeah, that is understanding true. person as long as you tell me why you did what you did, then I can actually make sense of it. I was talking out with the Forgive and never forget, ladies and gentlemen. That is the best piece of advice that I could give all of you. Seriously, forgive, never thing. forget. And of course, he understood every single OG phase member. Just anybody who loves and understands the brand for what it is and loves phase gets it for what it is, right? So we had a little bit of a disagreement because he heard things from me, he heard things from them. And after talking to him, you know, I called him a rat and a snake, not necessarily just for like working with the corporate side and figuring out deals with them. That was one thing that obviously made me mad, but I was willing to forgive that. It turned into a whole other thing when I uploaded the exposing phase video. My girlfriend comes up to me and she says like, yo, these FaZe employees were saying this about you and whatever. He had nothing to do with the situation, by the way. Actually nothing to do with it. And if you guys don't know, all of this really stems from FaZe Clan's corporate structure. Their corporate structure is absolutely messed up and they're trying to fix it. They're trying to figure out what's going on and everybody's kind of finally speaking up. So that's what they're talking about. It's not, you know, the main leaders, temper, apex, banks, rain, all in one room making decisions. They're talking about the corporate ladder and how they got messed up with it. I ended up beefing with them, but I couldn't believe it because I'm like, no way the day I try to make this exposing phase video, they all try to come and ruin my relationship on some something that was a complete lie, something I never said. I don't even know how, but Alex got involved in that situation. They think I said something about him. I know for a fact I didn't, but you can believe whatever you want to believe. And instead of him coming to ask me like, yo, did you say these things about me? He just like kind of went with it. And I fully get why you did, bro. You heard it from a bunch of people. You just believed it. I see it for what it is. It's fine. And um, you know, that's where things got super rocky because I just one couldn't believe that he did that first thing and then went to go and believe other people. So it turned into something way worse than it should have. And obviously I apologize for going on publicly and speaking on you. We should have handled it privately, but I felt like, cause you didn't handle it privately with me. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna hold this with, in no more. With us guys, we can never be for too long, bro. We end up always forgiving each other. We end up always moving on no matter what usually. And like, I just feel like communication is something that us guys struggle struggle with, to be honest. So it looked like another case of that with Rain and Adapt in my opinion, but I apologize let's keep for watching. handling things the way I did. Obviously I should have came to you. You're a person that's worth, Look that. At that, bro. that's worth coming to and talking to regardless and just making sure things are what they are real og homies you, bro. right like we've had a history together we've you guys shared a so toothbrush long, so much for each other so it's like you I shared a toothbrush bro. To you, but i felt like you didn't do the same for me so that's me explaining why i did what i did but we already talked about that me and him sat on the phone call for about like an hour or so like a couple days ago and i posted on the story so people knew as well you know I we just that talked story about too, things yeah. because you know not only for our personal relationship but for you guys so many fans are upset about it ron's hitting me up every day because he was a huge og face fan he's just heartbroken over it all the boys want us to be together you know they want us well, not together like that you know what I mean? but like they want it's all to love friends. man they want to, you know have a happy relationship with each other and everybody else in phase so it's like us trying to fix phase doesn't work if me and alex don't right so for so many that reasons is true. there's 
it's better for me and him to figure things out, right? It's not just for those reasons, it's especially for the fact that you're my brother and I've known you for so long and we've shared so much together and we've built so much together, we've experienced so much together. So it's like, I just can't turn my back on you, bro. You've always been like the soft spot for me. I would always do whatever I can for you and you know that. So I will- Adapt in order to share, reuniting for another video, baby? In the future? Ooh, I don't know, I don't know, bro. I wanna see that forever, though. And I told him I'll forever apologize for what I said because I said some really mean things in the text. I, I'm sure he'd rather me not repeat what I said in text, but that's some very mean things, like very, very mean things. Like even when I read them, I was like, yeah, no matter how mad I am, I should be saying things like that. I just don't want people to be on his comments, talking to him, being mean to him. I never want to have to do that to anybody regardless. I love Facts, that you guys- man. Alex has been getting slammed by hate comments, man. I, I cannot believe how quick people are to switch up. It's that ridiculous. Much he has one all, you know? It's but crazy. No, we can't do that to people. That's not right. And especially Rug. I mean, I get why you guys- And Rug, like and Rug. Things, when you should enough, regardless- That was guys, crazy. shouldn't say things like that, but Rug? I didn't even like talk crazy on Rug and everybody's bullying him, like all the face fans are bullying him. It's like, why? Yeah, he, he, he only get talked about the contract that Rug did and like he didn't even go in depth with Rug. He didn't roast Rug. He didn't talk shit on Rug or anything like that. And people still twisted it and started like going crazy on Rug and Adapt, which I personally think is unfair because there's two sides to everything, man. You got to hear everybody's POV, except for them corporate motherfuckers. Fuck them. Get how it did actually affect him. I love Rug. Me and Rug have never had beef like that. Even when he did what he did, he spoke to me about it and made me understand. That was the difference between him and Alex and why. Like, I was more mad at Alex because he just felt like not telling me. But he gets it for what it is now. So he fully understands who actually has his best interests in FaZe and who doesn't. And who actually is here to help grow FaZe and the community and the fans. And who's just here to, like, make money and, you know, leech and get shares and network, resource, all that. So he gets it for what it is. That's all I wanted. That was the point. Is I just wanted him to understand why he did what he did. I wanted him to take accountability for that and just realize that because if you can just explain that to me and you realize why you did what you did then i understand i'm fully rational about it no matter how yeah. mad i am but yeah i just had to say that because you know i've shared so much with him and i would never want it to get ruined forever just because seriously yo what happened crazy but we're yeah, this is not me trying to be artsy or anything. This is literally Bro, what? my camera. Can you believe it? A brand new 2015 Canon G7X giving me problems like this. Dude, I have no crazy. idea what just happened, but in the middle of the video, the last <laughs> minute, it just completely cuts me. Look at what, what the hell are you doing? What's all this glitchiness for? Yo. I don't know why this is happening, but it's going to kick back in. Glitched out SD card two, probably. Two, three. Okay. So the boys do as well. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure phase is what it's supposed to be. Thank you guys so much for supporting us for real. See you guys in the next videos. We want to try to phase rain. Please leave a like. Go watch all my videos on my vlog channel. I know I've not really been uploading on my main channel as much. But guys, make sure you guys check channel. out Norden's videos. Been... Make sure you guys check out FaZe Rain and his other channel, Norden Shad. He's been uploading like crazy. I'm really glad that Norden is taking a step back and realizing, you know, what he said did really affect Adapt and Rug and just others in general. And I'm happy with the direction that Norden and Tico and the OGs are going in general. I have no prejudice or anything against Norden, against Tico, against anybody. I love Norden. Norden is my second favorite FaZe member, obviously, after phase rug and i love them to death man i want to see a brand new beginning for phase clan man i want the company to be revamped i want everything to change they need new people in there new people that are there to help grow the brand and also grow themselves and i personally think that instead of starting a new org phase just needs a lot of reworking personally think with the way things are going we are gonna finally see that change we've always wanted in phase clan and we're gonna see them grow into something beyond any of our beliefs anything we can imagine is gonna go beyond that right now phase clan is not looking too hot and if they keep going the way they're going they're going to crash and burn very very badly so much of their community has already switched up has already left has already dipped for reasons that make sense i mean they derive from who they used to be and they just they don't upload as much anymore they care so much about celebrities and about clout chasing they do not know the youtube structure and they don't know what the fans want to see the corporate side of phase clan knows nothing about the company that they run so how can they even run the company all they care about is money did you not hear what he said there was a lawyer in phase clan that literally sold her stocks when she knew she was going to leave the company that's money laundering these people are crooked these people are crazy you cannot go to la and trust every single person you see and honestly phase clan learned the hard way but listen i really have high hopes for the brand and company that i grew up with and i just hope to see great things coming from phase clan guys i've been a phase fan since 2013 so i think it would be absolutely awesome if we were able to interview phase rain on the channel that would be incredible because i I feel like I just have the questions that all FaZe fans really want to know and I think I can really dissect the situation with Rain and I think it would be a good opportunity for the both of us so if you could please tag FaZe Rain in the comments below that would be amazing I don't know if we could make it happen but if so that would be crazy